Now what am I supposed to do? Barney? Are you? Who the fuck are you? A Sophie sent me. Yeah, right. And I'm a PK general. Whoever you are, fuck off! These are our crystals. You get it? You will get them. Barney, open up. Fuck off. Sophie, I found Barney, but he's locked himself in a room. He's alive. Good. Stubborn fucker. Just try and talk to him. I'll try. Barney! Go back to where you came from! Your sister is worried about you. Don't you even keep Sophie out of it! But, but it's true! You're damn lucky I'm busy here, dipshit! Barney? I'll count to three. One, two, three. Go the fuck away! You ain't getting a thing from me! Fuck! Shit! Great. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's it. They gone? Yeah, went out for some air. Your sister mentioned you're stubborn. She didn't say you were an idiot. Hey, I should beat you down for that. Here, take your radio. We're leaving. No, Bertie! We gotta find Bertie! Who? He lured away the infected when they were about to get me down there. If not for him, I'd have ended up like Kojak. You're in no condition to look for anyone. He's just a kid, man. I promised his old lady I'd bring him back, understand? He drew those bastards to himself, you get it? So I could grab the crystals for the bazaar. I have to find him. You're in no condition to search for anyone, Barney. I'm not going back without him. Where can I find him? He was on the ground floor when those assholes surrounded me. They ran out after him through the side door. Okay, you stay here and wait for my signal. I'll find your friend and then come back for you, got it? Hurry! Blood. Must be birdies. Trout should lead me to him. Hey, you find birdie yet? Not yet, but he was bleeding badly. I'm following the trail. <laughs> I wasn't going down without a fight. Who are you? A maiden. Can you move? Barney sent me. Barney? <coughs> of course. Good old Barney. 
He made it out, right? He got the crystals? Uh, yeah, he did. Well, thanks to you, kid. <clears throat> I pulled it off. <clears throat> Killed three infected. Did you see? Well, two were wounded already, but... <clears throat> Listen. <clears throat> it's my birthday today. Uh, and... Can I ask a favor? You see... <clears throat> Over there, my radio. I have to call someone. Here, but we gotta hurry. Of course, of course. I just gotta. Hello? Mom? <coughs> you there? Mom? Nathan? Is that you? What happened? Where are you? It's all good, Mom. We're almost. Barney and me are just finishing up here. Barney? He promised me that he'd keep you safe! Don't freak out, Mom. Listen, we got him. The crystals. We got him. And I killed three. Three infected. I beat them, Mom. We really need to get going. Then get the hell out and get back here safe! Barney promised! Sure. Oh, soon. We'll be back soon, Mom. in bad shape, Barney. I'm sorry. Fuck. Fucking fighters. Love that rut, Hayden. Told him to stay back. Let's get the fuck out. Nothing left for us here. My biomarker. It's starting to redline, Hayden. I won't make it to the bazaar. I gotta wait somewhere. Right outside the dark zone, there's a windmill. I'll fix it and let you know when it's safe. You can hide there until dawn. Okay, got it. Just hurry.
You there? Barney's here already. Just arrived. He fucking... What? He was supposed to... <sighs> Didn't trust you. He thought you wanted to take the crystals. So that's why he sent me to check on his friend. So he could sneak away. It's not like that. Come back to the bazaar, I'll explain everything. Spiders survive in daylight. Kill him eventually. Well, I got what you want. It takes a long time with these.
Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass with him in charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim, and they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me, that it? You don't know shit about me and my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you, so go bother her. We have to kill them, Carl. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? That spat with Carl. What was that about? Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. And now they're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. What are you going to do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits, and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Can't find your kids? They went out to play earlier and haven't come back yet. Usually they come right away when I call. Boys! Game's over! Come out! Mo? Scott? You hear me? Scott! Where are you? This isn't funny! When did you see him last? God! Hours ago. Normally they'd be back by now, but I've looked everywhere. Do you think something happened? Maybe you've seen them. 
Mo is 13, Scotty's 16. Uh, no, but boys their age, they do tend to wander off. Uh-uh. Not my boys. They always tell me where they're going and when they'll be back. This time was no different, but all oh, my birthday's coming up, and it'd be just like them to get into trouble planning a surprise for me. I'd die. You understand? If something happened to them, I'd... All right, I can try to find them. As a pilgrim, I did plenty of tracking. What? A pilgrim? You're lucky this is about my children. I know what sort of people become pilgrims. Otherwise, I'd want nothing to do with you. I just want to help. Where should I start to look? Right here. They sometimes play with this filthy little boy by the church walls. All right, I'll check it out. You stay here and wait. Maybe they're planning a surprise for my birthday. He's a mur- Aiden, tell them. Tell them Marco poisoned the water. Stop blaming others for your crimes! Aiden knows the truth. What are you waiting for, Ed? Hold on. This is serious business. So let's just... Let's hear what Aiden has to say. Aiden. Two men are dead. Bebin's husband, Luke, and Hans the Hunter. Julian says you know the truth. So tell us what you know. I visited Julian's supplier. Nothing wrong with his water. I told you! String him up! But... but I didn't poison the water. Guys! Aiden! Get him out of my sight, Ed! Stop! Please! Don't do this to me! Let's go, Julian. You can plead your case to the Council. Can I help you? Uh, hopefully. I'm looking for work. I'm sorry. Harvest's already in. All milled and ready to go. I see. Thanks anyway. Wait. Take this. A little sweetness for the circus. Mum, don't you know who that is? He's a pilgrim. He's no criminal, Benny. Look at him. In his eyes. Do you see what I see? We must judge people with our own hearts and eyes. And not based on rumour or innuendo. Thanks. Sweet weapon you got there, Aiden. Is it new? My pal Steve put on a biomarker he hacked off and infected. Three days later, he was gone. Who's this guy I've been hearing about? And nobody's doing anything about it. 